My suspenders might get caught. Okay. Just let you know. <sighs> How's it feeling? <sighs> How's it feeling? It feels <sighs> mighty tight. There you go. That's another first for Jacob. No one's been in that room. Yeah. <sighs> I'm stuck. My pants folded back on themselves. Okay. If you need me, if you need a tug, I can pull. <sighs> I'm strong. <sighs> if you do not like tight, claustrophobic, crawly videos. You are not going to enjoy calm. this video as it proceeds. However, if you do like claustrophobic, chest tightening, hyperventilating videos, then you are going to really, really enjoy this today. You cannot imagine how grabby, how painful how sharp and jagged those lava rocks are as Jacob crawls through these tubes our clothes and shoes be being be ripped and torn apart okay, down to the flesh by thing. these jagged There's a really lava rock formations me or you It is. You don't think I can get through that? Or you, or anyone? You know, if you want to feel like a big guy, just come and try to fit through one of these little caves. It catches on everything, but I knew better. I just have my t-shirt on today. That is much easier. I took my helmet off. Everything comes off. This is quite a bit of an easier uh, thing to do without a helmet, without gear, without anything. I fit through here no problem. The actions and stunts performed in this video were done so by professionals. Do not enter a cave without a cave tour guide. <sighs> you still going? Wow, there's no sound. <sighs> there's no sound in here. I can yell at Jacob, he's like 20 feet away, and he can't hear me at all, and that's the way it is. There are a couple caves here in the area today that we spotted the other day. We went in, we looked around, and we realized they're much bigger than we thought, so no one has ever pushed them out. There's a couple of long tunnels. It's cold today, it's snowy, well, we're looking forward to getting out there on the trail. One mile left, we're just down to the bluff. Hey everybody, this is uh, Jacob. And I'm Calvin. And, and this, this is, is Death, Death Drop Cave. Cave. Oh. This week is the first time this cave is discovered. This is one of the last in this area that they think might still have some long passageway. I'm going to let Jacob explain what he's doing. He's going to try to turn his body around so that he can move, uh, so he can come back to the passage face first. Go ahead. And you can talk your way through it. So first, I'm going to move my butt against the wall so I have this maximum room right here to put my head through. Then I'm going to m minimize my uh, body. Yeah. Now I'm going to move myself just like this and curl up in a ball. And then I need to move my butt behind me so my head remains in front if this rock would move ah, it's just a good rock there we go just like this right Woo! you're right this is the worst death than john jones move forward move my butt behind like this you see and then you move your legs behind you and you successfully wow turn around. okay it is very small in here we're Tandem spelunking, Jacob's favorite, but in front of us, the passage is too small for me. Jacob can fit. So I'm going to turn the camera down, and we're going to get Jacob going down this passage. We are back here like 150 feet in a single tube. In this passage like this, it's very tight, whether it looks like it or not. It's very troubling. It's very tight. The floor is very grabby. You can get caught. Getting stuck, getting lost is not your main concern. The main concern is getting fatigued. Yeah. Sorry. Pushing your arms. Jacob, we want to show him how you kind of push, demonstrate a little bit right here. Like this, or pull. Like pushing and pulling on those elbow joints and, and your uh, shoulder muscles. Over time, you get really tired. Over a long time, you get really strong, but over time, you get fatigued. And you start getting acid reflux. 
your stomach starts hurting and you start getting fatigued in a passage like this, you start bonking your head and your body just starts falling apart yeah. in general. Right. It's not the end. <sighs> Can I follow you through that? It's not the end. Can I follow you through that? Give me a second to check around this corner, okay? Okay. Then you can see. I think I can fit through there. But let me see if it's the end to see if there's a purpose for you. Totally gone. Oh, I don't have much room to move about. Hang on. This lava is quite unforgiving. So this lava floor here will tear you to shreds as it does every time our clothes and everything. It but gets to where um, it is very cramped. Yeah. The passage is about this wide, you see? And it gets like this tall. Is this uncomfortable? Curves down. You can just not imagine or appreciate the excruciating challenge of pulling your body through such a tiny space when the floor nor the ceiling will give you any room to establish any leverage. So it's tiny movements with the arms and then pulling the body along. Like right through here, you're in, a, you're in the tight spot there. This isn't the tight spot. It's way tighter down there. <laughs> Here as the cave opens up a bit more, you can see how much quicker Jacob is able to move through here. This passage was one of the first side passages in this cave. It was almost 200 feet. And Jacob's coming out with a great deal of excitement until I let him know that this is only the first passage. Okay, now you can pop out. I'll make sure people can see you popping out of there. One passage done. Uh, what? Look at your belly. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Dude, look at this. We are just a couple meters under the ground. This meaning that these weeds or roots from bushes and plants and trees can come down to the cracks of the cave. And sometimes bugs might crawl in and that's how we get like bugs in the cave. Sometimes there's crickets. Centipedes, even spiders, a lot of times in caves, come from these little uh, weeds or grossies. We call them grossies. We call them grossies. Yeah. So Jacob and I are coming down this passage, and as you can see, it's turned into a bit of a labyrinth. We're not afraid of that, but uh, there's passage behind you, two there, one here. Sit tight here for a second, Jacob. I'm going to show you guys something in here. The floor. It's not a very pleasant kind of lava, but there is some smooth stuff in here. Let me go see what's up in here. And I don't know. This floor is a spiky lava flow that uh, is sh sh shreds. You look, you can just see just so pump. Look at that giant, big piece. Get your knees on this. Not only are there bumps, but they have spikes on that lumps. It spikes off of those spikes. So Jacob and I are sliding along this cave. We just thought we'd take you with us and part of it here. Our caving clothes generally last one to two caves. Shoes have to be replaced about once a month. Pants last a couple caves. Our sweaters usually only last one. Slow a little bit. There is no clothing destroyer like crawl size lava tubes. So this was the perceived end of the cave, and we knew it went on. We could see through the crack that there was some space back there to move around. So this is called pushing a cave. That's when you go to the perceived end of a cave, and you try to push further and see how much farther you can get until really no humans can go. Yeah, it's got that blob there. But the blob also, Jacob, when you're in there, I don't care if you take a big rock and knock off its spikes. And that Jacob isn't going anywhere unsafe. I'm right beside him. We know that there's a floor down there. 
well, no one else is going to get in there, and, and so we're we're working towards I don't safety. Know if I'm gonna crush Okay, I'm gonna need to put this on there. Now. So I have to move up, turn around. There we go. Now I move in. Okay. We're just trying to get him to be able to pass through this so from the other side he can help relieve pressure off a few larger rocks, which you will see in a moment that I'm able to move out of the way. Right. and get into the same room as him. I'm right here. We work from both sides, it works much better. Necessary. Jacob's a very happy camper. He enjoys exploring. Yep. Funny, because this is so sad. I know. <sighs> I can't fit in like this. You're in, buddy. No, I mean like, there, you probably can't fit in. I think I could fit in that. I just have to go head first. Knock off those spikes where your hands are right now. Look look behind you is where all, this, all your space is. I don't know if there is a behind you yet. Yeah, there I is. Okay, behind you is all the space in the world. Oh, I see. Turn around carefully. I'm going to hand you a light and the camera. You're moving faster! <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We dug our way in. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay. It is a little awkward. So, this is called the death roll. Whoop. Look at this. I can't believe we got in there. We totally opened it up. That was easy. This is Jacob, and those are the lava formations up there in the night. Look at that. Okay, buddy, let's go. I'm done. Yes, let's go home. Yes. Let's move our way out of here. I am done. Crawly Bolly. What's this? So we have totally pushed this cave out. That was what we came to do. This was an excruciating cave. Fun, but we were cold and wet when we arrived. It was absolutely freezing. This was an absolute miserable experience. Sometimes caves are fun, sometimes they're absolutely miserable, and this was one of those experiences. Gorillas in the mist. <sighs> You are squirrely, and we are done. So basically, this is a tree cast. An animal came, probably a deer, walking, fell, slipped in, could not get out because there's no getting out of this, and it died. A skull with both, ant with both antlers on it. Looks like it's a uh, fork, and uh, that is really cool. You can see down in the muck. There's down in the muck. There's a uh, uh, one of the antlers still attached to it and both it oh both antlers you can see its spine look at that spine attaching to so its rib okay show on the spine oh yeah see that spine <laughs> this is the worst rescue ever. You're putting him back. <laughs> this is good to know if we go find trouble, we don't have to go far to get help. No getting in trouble today. It's not centered. <coughs> I'm using this bit where I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs>
we, we both have coronavirus. 